Hey you guys, I'm so glad that you're here. I just have this video for you that I'm going to offer no tactical advice or steps or anything in this video, but I do wanna share something with you. And I hope that this helps you regardless of whether or not this has anything to do with Tourette syndrome in your life, but you can take this lesson and apply accordingly. I think this is kind of universal, but I'm going to use Tourette syndrome um, today to share, just to make some connections, okay? A lot of people think that people who have Tourette syndrome or are displaying Tourette syndrome, they're faking it, okay? It's like a whole thing right now, like TikTok, Instagram, whatever, social people on social media, they're faking it, it's not true, they're doing it for attention, whatever. And you know what? Some people are, whatever. Some people are. And, and you might not know who is and who isn't. You might not be able to tell the difference. That, that sucks. That sucks for the people who are in the disabled community and who do have a tic disorder. It does. Um, but at the end of the day, if your child or you have Tourette syndrome, you don't owe anybody an explanation. It is exhausting to try to prove something to somebody, okay? I can tell you firsthand, a few years ago, I had a cyberstalker. Come to find out, she was a girl from my hometown and she was going through a lot of shit and she was very mad about it. Um, I had to actually uh, contact the police. We had a detective from Dare County help me out. We connected the dots and in her messages, this is hard for me to share without laughing. I'm really, I'm not trying to be immature. I just, I, I think back to these messages and it, at the time they made me so sad. And now I'm like, they are kind of funny looking back from a healed place. Um, she said, she hates my leggings. She, my husband hates me. My kids hate me. Everybody hates me. Why do I talk about my car accident? Why do I talk about getting the right auto insurance just in case you're in an accident? I mean, just so mad. But the thing that stuck out to me the most is she really wanted me to be the person she was telling me I was. And I think it really pisses her off that I'm just not. I, when we connected the dots and we figured out who it was, we had her pinned like 10 different ways to like prove that we knew who it was. We looked back at my correspondence with her because she had been emailing me, DMing me for years, being so nice. We connected the dots. We found out who it was. I'm looking at these old emails and I was so nice. Could, couldn't have been more professional and kind to this girl. But she really wanted me to be who she said. She really wanted me to not be who I really was. It, it pissed her off. Um, I don't know, I had been available for sessions that she wanted, but that re didn't really make sense. Come to find out, she's in a hard place. Husband left her, postpartum depression and potentially psychosis based on the anger in those um, messages. So we asked her to get help. That was like one of the big things, like you do need to go get help. Um, and we went through this whole process. She had to get a lawyer. Anyway, so when we found out who was on the other side of those messages and we got that feedback and we got that, like the scoop on what was going on in her life, it made sense. Um, it, it's a reason, but it's not an excuse. It's a, there is a reason that people come to you and they're like, you're faking it. You're faking it or your kid's faking it. And some of you guys, unfortunately, some of you parents watching this, you know what it's like for your own parents or in-laws or somebody to be like, that's not, that, no, she can control that. She's just doing that for attention. Talking about your kid. Oh, he, he doesn't really, he, he really can control it. I mean, some of you guys are telling me that your own family doesn't even believe that your child has Tourette syndrome. And I know it sucks. But just like the girl who told me, like, your kids hate you, your husband hate she kept saying it and it didn't make it true. She tried. She really wanted it to be real. But there's a quote I always come back to and it's, I know who I am. So anytime somebody's DM me and said, uh, Ellie's faking it, I'm like, I know who she is. I know who I am. You almost have to check in with yourself because people are going to try, people who've never met you and people who are very close with you, your own family will try to gaslight you because Tourette syndrome and neurological disabilities, they just make people really uncomfortable, which is really a shame because that's why people with them feel like they have to pull back from society and not be seen or heard. And can we just make it normal? It's just not a big deal. So Ellie makes some sounds. She's fucking adorable. <laughs> And I'm just not, I'm not going to take her from the world and hide her out. Um, she deserves to be seen and heard. And, and in fact, she adds so much value. I'm not going to cry. She adds so much value to so many people's lives. So when people are telling you that your kid's faking it, or they're telling you that you're faking it, at the end of the day, it's like the girl that I dealt with. You, you can bark, 
in my face all day long that I am XYZ or this is XYZ and it just doesn't make it true. When we found out everything she had been going through, it made sense that she was just so dissociated and detached from reality. Um, there's somebody in their life who hasn't believed them on something or somebody's just heard them. And um, actually, at the end of that whole encounter, the detective asked why she picked me and she said, I just needed someone to lash out on. So if that's something that can just make you feel a little bit better, it, it's not going to make it easier. You know, I, I, me telling you this, it's not going to fix the fact that some of you have to, you know, butt heads with your own family on whether or not your child actually does have a real neurological disability or you, if it's you. A lot of you guys have messaged me and people don't believe you. I believe you. And a lot of people in this community, they believe you. And at the end of the day, you know who you are. People only tell you who they are when they're unsure about who they are. There's something going on with these people and it's not your fault and you shouldn't have to deal with it. But it's, and it's a reason, but it's not an excuse. So put up boundaries accordingly. If you have family who they don't want to accept the diagnosis for your child, you say, you know, you're just not allowed to talk about it. You do have to sit in the room if you want to be around us and you do have to not don't don't tell them not to have ticks don't shush them don't act like they can control it okay they have to respect your boundaries right i mean your child doesn't need to be treated like crap by relatives those are the people who should support them the most but anyway i just want to share that story with you guys um it's tough right this this can be really tough but um okay sirens it's getting loud out here in the outer banks i hope that was helpful you guys bye